everyone. Today, uh, it's been quite a while since we last worked on this little 3D platformer, so I thought I was, might as well uh, make another part for this. Um, haven't really done that many videos recently. Uh, been going through a lot, quite a bit, so if you're just wondering where I am, just don't worry about it. I'm still gonna be producing content so um yeah we got our little guy here um 3d platformer kind of like banjo kazooie and it's just a little scene we can run around in not really doing much so i was thinking what we're gonna want to do in this episode we're gonna go ahead and edit our character here directly and we're gonna go ahead and add in like the double jump and the uh, you know glide so I'm gonna go ahead and scope in here and open up his logic what's this log keyframe do that yeah how about we make this just complete positional data can I do that at all? I don't think I can actually. Oh well. Because in the previous scene, when he was walking around, it was just flying around. I think it might have been turned off or something. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn down my visual feedback. So first thing we want to do is just go ahead and give him a double jump to start with. So let's see, double jump height is another meter. And then we're going to go ahead and get that logic for double jump in there. That's the blinking, right? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move this over. I, didn't, I can't believe I didn't label this. I usually always label my stuff, don't I? It's been a while since uh, I was doing anything with this stuff, so. Alright, let's go ahead and get my chip placed down. Place it by the controls. This is going to be hover. And let's get the, let's see, sky, why not? And I'm going to go ahead and copy over our puppet interface so we know when we double jumped. And I'm going to get a counter because we don't want to keep track of if we have double jumped or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up a puppet interface. Jump, double jumped. That's gonna to go to our increase count. Then of course, when we hit the ground, we're gonna go ahead and reset that. So on ground, it's gonna reset our counter here. And when we have double jumped and we're holding down the jump button, we're gonna get a node here. Let's do X. I also haven't streamed recently. I want the ne last time, the next time I did this, I wanted to stream, but I'm not doing it because of a few reasons. But um, yeah. It takes a lot of energy to do streams and interact with everyone and make sure everyone is heard. So um, I figured recording a video is much better than that, right now at least. So we got our jump button detection. Let's go ahead and get that. So when we've double jumped, we're going to go ahead and start our hover when we're holding down X. And we want to play an animation on our little birdie here. And we're going to go ahead and take this keyframe, move it up, and here, because we don't want to play this when we're hovering, this keyframe specifically. So we're going to get a knot gate and hook up our AND gate in there. Then our AND gate is going to go ahead and play our timeline. I'm going to set it to loop. And we're also going to get a mover. 
and we're gonna go ahead and turn down movement strength and the speed and we just want like 30% dampening gonna go ahead and turn down the damp and everything except for Y and then I'm gonna go ahead and make face down like so now he should slow down quite a bit when we have the uh, double jump active now for animation I, I want to make the wings on the back flap as well as grow bigger. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Just get out a keyframe, place it down. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off grid. Snap, I'm not sure why I had that on in the first place. Okay, are we here? We're here, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and select both of these. Okay, I guess that's not gonna work. How am I gonna do this accurately? I guess grid snap would work. One, two, one, two. There we go. Um, did that size it the same? I think it did. Let's do another one. I want it to be comically large. You know how video games do that. Okay. <laughs> there we go. So now that they're comically large, I'm gonna stop recording. And we're gonna go ahead and use this keyframe. And we're gonna just make a few copies. As many as we need. Add in that transition. Shorten our timeline. And you know what? One thing I forgot to add here in the logic is a signal manipulator so we can smoothly transition between this animation. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Smooth rise, about a half second. Smooth fall, half second. And go back into our timeline and go ahead and animate this. I don't even think we need more than two frames, to be honest. He's just gonna be flapping the whole time. What is going on? so confused. Is the scale... Okay. <laughs> what is happening? Um... Well, you know what? I think it's... because of this... that that's happening. Let's hope that's the case. Yes, I believe that is. Yes, okay. Okay, and then let's do another one more frame. Let's more spread out and higher. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be an amazing animation, just something to get us by. Okay, so that's three frame, well, four frame, technically, because we have to return, but let's see how this plays out. That doesn't look half bad. <laughs> Needs to be a bit faster, but it's not bad. Oh, that's... That's disappointing. Why is this happening? Is... Because of these? What is... Oh, you know what? We weren't animating the correct things. Oh, no! Well, technically we were, but... I, m I forgot I made these two separate parts. So, in reality, we 
we were not animating very well. Okay, let's see how that looks. There we go. That's all right. And we'll go ahead and hook this up now, as well as this keyframe. Now let's see how this plays out. Well, for some reason, oh, you know what? I know why, for some reason. It's because this keyframe is doing the same mistake that we made in here. That's why it's fucking around. Okay, well. Now the problem's fixed, but it's not really fixed. So let's see what we can do. Um, is it that? Why would it be anything so strange? That is really weird. Hmm. Is there like multiple connectors? How is this working out? Let's see. Well, in here. No. In the wing group that there it's connected like so. So if I delete that maybe. And we just have the main connector like that. It might work out a bit better. Except when garbage like this happens. Okay. Okay, well, I definitely set that position, and I set that position, but resetting it does not do what we want. And now it just falls off? What is happening? Uh, is it because it's movable? This is so confusing. Dreams why you like this sometimes. Not movable. And what about you, buddy? Are you movable? No, you're not. What happens if we set it now? There we go. Okay. And how are you looking, buddy? Okay, I would like this to have a bit more dampening effect. Let's do, let's try 70%. There we go. Great, now we got pretty good, decent double jump with a uh, falling effect, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what exactly it's called. I know I made a tutorial on it before, so I did. Blah blah. Publishing. Saving stuff is the bo most boring part when uh, making things, honestly. Okay. Now, update mode. This should automatically update, but sometimes there's a glitch where it doesn't. So if it doesn't, we're gonna have to update it. Um, I think I might have explained that in a few of my videos before, but it is quite annoying. Nice. I love it. I love it. It's great. 
Alright, I think we might want to get some combat in here. So, let's do that as well. Let's go ahead and go back to our player. And let's get some combat going. So we're going to edit the source. Yes, might as well save the scene. going to go ahead and scope in. And let's get that gameplay combat going. First of all, um, I kind of want to add in a... Uh, noise that he makes when he attacks a few noises we'll add let's get a couple of recordings actually let's get some for when he's damaged one for jumping and stuff like that um because you know it just ties the whole thing together so i'm gonna go ahead and get a sound recorder from our sound mode let's do an attack like bah! or something like that bah! Is it not picking up my microphone? Let's see. There we go. Okay. Bah! Now let's do a jump. Bah! Uh, bah! Bah! That's, eh, that's more of a damaged. Uh, ha, 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 ha. There we go. So we got, let's see, we got, what is this? Bah! Attacking. Alright, so we got an attack noise, a jumping noise, now let's get a damaged noise. I feel like we need more variety in our attack noises. Bah, burr, boo. Bah, burr, boo. Bah, burr, boo. All right. So what we're going to do here is this is the slice editor in sounds. So you get there by I want an X on the sound and then up here is freeform view, which is for performing, Bang. which is really not necessary for sound effect. So, uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna take this sound and actually copy it three times because we've had three different sound effects in one recording. And what this is gonna allow us to do is actually play them randomly, I believe. I think we need to do it like this. And I'm going to change the sound type to sound effect, and we're going to change it to play them once. Let's see here. Multi-language, no, 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 okay. So now we have three samples, but we actually want to cut slim them bang, down bang. to their individual sounds bang, 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 bang. for each clip. So we're going to go ahead and do that now, because why not? And of course we're going to be doing this with all of our noises. But first, I really don't like how this sounds, so I'm going to pitch shift it. And let's see, what else can we add in here? EQ. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these effects on all of these actually. Let's hope that just selecting them and doing this will work. Okay. Hopefully that works. It did. Kind of. This one is not at all like that, is it? Oh hey, look, I got an imp request done. <laughs> 
imp quest, not imp request, okay. So yeah, this is kind of boring, but you know, it's all game design here. these need to be play once as well and one last sound effect one last sound effect excuse me Jumping noises. And we got attack noises. I think this was attack, was it? No, this is damaged. And then this one was attack. Yes, this one was attack. Alright, now let's go ahead and hook these up where they should be. So we already have a sound effect microchip, but this is mainly for the puppet noises um, that are default. So we have jump, land, and footstep. So we're going to go ahead and replace our jump sound effects with this one right here. And then damaged, we are actually going to just move that up here above our controller sensor. Because there's a really good um, output on the health manager called currently losing health. So when we lose health, we'll just play this damage noise. And we have an attack noise, and we're going to do that in a, use that in a second here. Let's go ahead and see how those jump noises sound though. They sound alright. Um. One thing, though, is it doesn't play when we double jump. So we are going to output that to our double jumps as well. There we go. Well, wait. Double jumped, jumped. What is the difference in wires there? That's weird. Cool. And now let's actually get a flapping kind of noise. Let's try to get a flapping noise. Nah, 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 nah. That's, those are terrible. Those are terrible, so let's not do that. <laughs> okay. Now we just need to get some kind of an attack going. So what would be best for a, let's see, sheep? Well, they would usually, well, rams headbutt you, goats headbutt you, Sheep are kind of docile. I think they would headbutt you. So we could probably do something like that, where their speed goes up, but their turning speed turns down, so they have less control. But it, mo it changes their speed all the way up and makes it so they can't walk and they always have to run, or something like that. So, and another one. 
Well, another good one for that. Hmm. I kind of want to do like Crash Bandicoot style. I feel like these attack noises, we might not end up using them. Because if we're just going to do a headbutt, what's going to be the point of that? Maybe we could have him spit like a llama. I know he's not a llama, but we did give him a mouth that opens and closes. Um, speaking of, I actually want to set that up. We haven't done that yet. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and do mouth flap. Because this is gonna be pretty quick. I'm gonna give it blue bluish color. And we'll go ahead and get a note here for open. And we'll just get a knock gate. And we're going to get two keyframes. One of them is for the closed state. And the other one is for the open state. And when we are not talking, we're going to go ahead and just play that keyframe. And when we are talking, we're just going to play that keyframe. And it should smoothly come on, depending on our input. And the way we're going to achieve that is actually from our sounds. We're going to have the jump output, as well as the damaged output, go there. Open. Open. So the envelope is basically how loud the sound currently is, depending on like the maximum volume and the minimum volume of the sound. So that is what we are outputting to our little input here for open. So now if we play, should, his mouth should open. Kind of having a hard time to see it. Well, he, his mouth opens when he lands. Did we use the right one? Yeah, we used jump. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe if we made this power off slowly. Or if we made these power off slowly? I'm not sure. I could just bring in my my puppet that I had already with a mouth flap and see how I did it. Uh, no. There's a newer version of this available. Well, I kind of doubt that, because I found it in my search results. Uh, would it be in here? No, here. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so equals zero. Okay, well. I guess. Hmm. Yeah. That is how it's supposed to work. What if we just play the sound manually? What do we get? It's not going to play, is it? Of course it's not going to play. His mouth barely opens. It doesn't want to open because the signal is too low, I think. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and increase the signal strength artificially just by, uh, let's see here, look at a signal manipulator, maybe hmm. output, we'll just do this. 0 0.5 is going to go ahead and go up to 1, and we're going to go ahead and clamp values, and we're going to just take that. Plug it in there. Now, now it should work, right?
His mouth still is barely open. What if we just do small, smooth fall? I want it to open all the way. So even lower. 0 0.3 and small and higher smooth fall. Even smaller? That's really small. Get, let me see your mouth. Stop moving. There we go. That's better than nothing. I'm gonna hook this back up though. Jump. Double jump. Cool. There we go. That should be a lot better. Um, and attacks. Well, attacking. Well, let's go ahead and do that now. Attack. What we're going to need is we want a health modifier. You know, to damage the player. Or not player, but enemy. The keyframe record the change in the in the player movement as well as the pose um and basically that'd be about it for advanced stuff we just want an and gate and we're gonna go ahead and get a calculator because we want to see if we are actually moving and we're gonna of course get absolute value of our speed. So speed we're going to go and get from a movement sensor because it's easier. And we just want to get our forward speed and we're going to get the local space. So forward is Z. That's kind of math stuff, but hey. So forward is Z. We're going to get the absolute value. So even if we're going backwards, we're going to go ahead and Play a noise if we do attack. And we also, I guess we're gonna make them have to move. No, if you hold it down, you're, you should have to steer, I guess. But we are gonna make it so they cannot walk. We're gonna up their run speed a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit, just to entice them to always run. And, of course, we're gonna lower that turn speed by a whole lot. And we're gonna go ahead and play that keyframe, and we're gonna also lower down the head and back like so try to get more of a running stance all right Let's maybe Maybe bend the knees a little bit. There we go. Now he's got real champion attitude. Yeah, okay. So any slight movement should make him constantly at that be at that speed. And this health modifier, we're gonna go ahead and do negative. 100 works, I guess. And it's going to be a zone, and we want to preview that animation. So I'm going to go and delete that cable for now. Turn on that keyframe. And yeah, sure, why not? We'll do sphere. And we just want it to be 
Go to the player like so. And we're gonna go and make it so it only detects foes and targets. And it has to have foe and target. So that way, if we want to make somebody invincible, we can. So now we should be able to run. Might as well add the sound in. I don't know. It's not gonna be too great because it's not kind of it's not the same kind of effect that we want. We're gonna use square, of course. Classic Spyro running, you know. <laughs> I think the turn speed is still way too high. Um, hmm. I think we might want to modify how we turn. Turn to face. So, we're going to do a couple things here. We're going to go ahead and make a pass through for walking. And we're going to go ahead and do that with a node. Just gonna go ahead and make it no port. I was gonna stick into our node, and that's gonna go and plug into our walk. And when we are doing this run, we're gonna go ahead and turn this off. And when we are running, we are gonna go ahead and turn on the this node here. By default, it's turned off. Then, of course, this will go into turn to face. Now, let's see if that does what we want. <laughs> that is definitely not exactly what we want. Um. Hmm. Instead of speed movement, let's just get um, the stick, because why not? I'm not sure if this will logic will still work, but hey, it should still work, so let's try it. Anyway, and of course, left stick. We want to get that. That's going to go in here. And he does turn awfully slow, which is what we want. And of course, we want him to also move in the direction that he's going, or supposed to be going. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in here, and hopefully. We can use that go forwards input. I've had issues with it before, like, for example, helping other people with this. Apparently, this is not very good at all. Making. Make it walk forward. So I don't know if this is going to work very well, but let's see. Oh, it works. Definitely works. Only problem is our camera is not does not give us a desir desirable effect, as you could say. Face camera direction. Um, but we can't really control the camera very well with this, as you can see. So we're going to have to make our own camera. And it's not... For now, we're just going to do a basic camera. And I'm going to go ahead and make it look at the back of the player like so. Just give it a nice wide FOV. So it gives us the nice Naruto running effect. <laughs> And 
And of course, we're gonna go ahead and turn that on with this switch. And how else are we gonna go ahead and do that? How's our transition type gonna be? Let's do crazy. And the transition time will be half a second. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, we're definitely not, I'm definitely not liking crazy. That's way too weird. Let's tr just do ease in. Or, no. Yeah, ease in. There we go. Oh, you know what we can make that sound effect for? Instead of one entering, that galloping mode. We can make it for when we hit something. So currently modifying from our health modifier should do that. If we get a booger in here, let's see. Where is our booger? Here it is. Pink land top booger. He is a booger. See if we can kill him. I don't know if his label is set up properly. Let's check. Nope. We'll do this for now in here. We'll change him permanently in a minute. Well, he does die, but since he is a, a puppet, he just respawns. So, go ahead and delete that. So, we don't want that. He's an NPC after all. Did we hit him? Yeah, I think he should technically be dead, but he's not because we just have the health modifier, I think. So if we go ahead and just stamp a uh, destroyer on here, no health. There we go. Alright, I'm liking this so far. Let's go ahead and delete him. So that's one attack that we have. Um, should we give him another one? You'd think he would have more, so the spit attack, I guess, will work. Um, let's see here. I don't... Hmm. We would have to make a spitball. I'm not sure how we would have that aim. We could just have it, like, kind of like a missile, so it auto-aims for, like, a, little, a second or two after we spawn it, and it will go forwards from then, which is what we're going to be- which I think we're going to do. So I'm going to try my best to try to make, like, a spitball. So let's do something. We're going to do white. Sphere, and we'll make it pretty small. This is going to be what the physical model is, and we'll add like a jet trail thing. I'm not entirely sure how jet trails work, but we'll try. Blue. Got a nice blob. Let's get surface snap on. Add some weirdness to it. Some just weird effects. It doesn't look very good, but that's because we are not making it loose, so we should probably make it loose. Very loose. Lots of impasto. Let's make it nice and shiny. There we go. As well as a little bit of waxiness. Yeah, look at that. That is a nice big spitball. <laughs> I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And add some extra tail here. Oh jeez, stop it. I hate, th I hate it when that happens. You turn off surface snap and then the brush gets all the way across the other side of the map. 
<laughs> there we go. That looks good. I like that. Thank God for looseness, or else this wouldn't look very good. <laughs> now let's go ahead and do it in paint mode. Get the same color. I'm gonna do circles. Oh jeez. No, we'll do dots. That's what we want. Yes, dots. And if you're wondering how to do that, I use the touchpad. There we go. It's not what I want. There we go, that's what I want. Yes, that looks good. Okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and animate it. So we're making a jet trail. I'm not sure if that's gonna work very well, but better than nothing. Make it wave a bit? No. Flow. Oil. Lots of oil. Lots of throb. Oh god. No throb. Okay, there we go. And of course, we're gonna group it with our actual spit right there. And now we have a projectile. We just have to, you know, I'm gonna turn off collisions. And that way, we can do collisions uh, manually. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to go ahead and place down a microchip on here. And of course, the way we're going to do this is we're going to go ahead and put down a tag on here. Not a tag, actually. No, 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 no. We want to look for a tag. So we're going to use a look at rotator. And only for a split second are we going to actually be looking at the tag. So move down to about 0.2% or 0.2 seconds. And we're going to do the highest possible um, speed and strength and dampening and then when we I don't know why I'm doing that when I can just do this and of course when we uh, are not looking for an enemy anymore we're gonna instead of turning it off because we don't want it to turn in any other direction we're gonna go ahead and have rotation strength and rotation speed multiplied by our timer value. Well, not our timer value, but we want to know when our timer is not active. So we're going to go ahead and turn off our grid here. And we're going to get not gate down. Then timer finished. Not gate. So when our timer is not finished and when our timer is not finished, we're going to go ahead and slow down and make sure we don't have any strength in our lookout rotator. So that way it'll look and now we want it to move so we're just going to get a mover that one is always going to be active it's going to have maximum dampening maximum strength let's see how that is well i do not like the jet trail i don't like that jet trail it's not thick enough. If we speed it up, is it thicker? Yes, it is. Okay. Alright, and of course we're going to make it bits faster than that. That's way too fast. 5.8. There we go. Oh, that's good. 
All right, and let's see how we're gonna do this. Well, collisions. Well, collisions pretty easy. We're just gonna get a sensor trigger zone here, and we're gonna make it just do scene element. And of course, we want it to be smack dab in the middle here, like so. And we'll do 0.3 meters, that's good. And then on our damage modifier, I want to get our health modifier, I mean. This is going to be 50 instead. So you have to, if you want to kill them with range, you have to hit them twice. And it's going to go ahead and be zone. And this is going to be slightly bigger. 0.5, yeah. So that way we have a chance to hurt them before we actually, um, you know, kill, uh, destroy ourselves for hitting them physically. And if we hit something or if we damage something, we're going to go ahead and destroy ourselves, but only after about 0.1 seconds. That way we have a little bit more travel time. Specifically for the health modifier. So it looks like we hit them. Of course, we're going to go ahead and destroy ourselves with the destroyer. And the health modifier, I forgot to set up the, the label system, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. And we're going to go ahead and label this as a missile, because that's what it is. Then our player, of course, is a friend, and it's also a target. I don't know why I didn't have this stuff labeled before. But that is a nice spitwad. And we just need a nice sound effect to go with it. And I feel like if I made a nice spit sound, it'd sound horrifying. So I don't know if I'm going to. I'd much rather just uh, have... You know, <laughs> we're going to rename this attack input to RAM. Um, I'd much rather just have this sound, so we're going to do that. And we're going to get copy this, and this is going to be spit. And we want to have a cooldown on spitting. We only want to be able to spit once every second. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll have a timer set to one second. It's going to be full. And every time we spit, it's going to reset. And then since there's no input for start timer, it's going to go up. And when it is full, we're going to go ahead and when we spit and the timer is full, we're going to go ahead and spit. Otherwise, we won't be able to spit. So we're going to get the submitter now. That's going to go ahead and target this. And you know what? I think we may want to have a precaution here. So it, it may be possible that we collide with ourself. So the way we're going to actually get rid of that is we're going to make it so it cannot match friends. So we can't, so that means if we did have friends, we'd shoot through them, which is fine, I guess. And of course, this is also going to activate our attack noise up here. And we didn't actually set it up. Oh, we want O to be our spit. And we're going to delete that. And we didn't set up the emitter properly. You want it to be emit once. Emit speed is zero, actually. Time between emits is zero. Uh, zero. 20, max emitted, fine. And, oh, well, there's no arrow on it anymore. Oh, well. It's still doing nothing. Okay. Oh, you know what? 
think it's because it resets it. And on the same frame, this is no longer considered finished, so we can fix that with a signal manipulator. And we're just going to smooth fall for 0.1 seconds. That way, it should still fire. Yep. But we currently move faster than the bullet itself, apparently. So let's see what we can do about that. 5.8 meters a second. Player moves at 4. So we're going to double this up to 7.5, not double it. It's hard to tell if we're actually shooting. And let's see the range on this lookout rotator. That's a bit too large. Well, you want them to max shoot at about 10 meters. That's good. You know what? I think you may want to actually just lower the run speed by default. And we're also going to make it so if we're running we cannot spit because we're going to be moving too fast to spit anyway. So ram, we're going to, well, result, and gate, there we go. Is it always in that direction? Why is it that way? Okay, well that's strange. Oh, you know why? I know why. Because I was silly. Forgot to make this mover local space. There we go. Much better. Now instead, it will move in local space, and unfortunately this arrow is going to give me a hard time. I'm going to have to drag it out like so. There we go. Yeah, I'm liking this. Alright. Well... We got the majority of sound effects in here, and we got tacking, we got um, feather falling basically, I guess you could call it. Um, let's just go ahead and get the uh, enemy set up, and we're going to go ahead and place them in our scene. And I think that will be it for today. Uploading new audio. Yeah, I know. I don't think my voice is copyrighted, so... <laughs> I think we're good. Alright, first off, we're gonna want to go ahead and edit Booger here. First of all, well, he doesn't have a controller sensor because he's an enemy. And, of course, since he's an enemy, we're gonna go ahead and give him that tag. And where are we going to put that tag? Right here. Alright. And of course 100 health is fine. And what else? We're going to go ahead and label him as an enemy. Foe and target. And when he takes damage We'll actually just make we'll make him glow a bit so we know we if we hit him or not. Where's the glow? There it is. Of course we'll tint it red a bit. Hmm. 
And we'll have a slow power up and slow power down on this. So when he takes damage, he'll go ahead and glow red for us. And then when he dies, for now, I'm just going to have a destroyer, just to make it a bit simple. And we're not going to do any AI for him this time, but we will next time. So let's go and save him. And then release him. And then let's go ahead and go back. And go to our workshop here. Edit it. One object has been updated. But what about our pink land booger friend? Here we go. Now he's updated. Huh. That was weird. That shouldn't be happening. I feel like that's a bug with the puppet system. Footsteps aren't happening. Mm, I don't think we're aiming properly. And also, he's not spitting anymore. Why is he not spitting? <sighs> Dreams, what are you doing to me? And why is there a group here? Oh, you know, I know why there's a group because he's a. He has the spit with him, that's why. But why can't he spit anymore? Hmm. I don't know. Well, he did spit. One, two, three. Why can't he spit? I guess there's like an unintentional third cooldown? I don't know. But I don't think he's aiming properly. Let's see. Did our bullet here... Where is our bullet? Maybe all the way over here. Oh, you know what? I think that might be why the footsteps aren't working properly. It's because he was part of a group. Let's see, if we copy this, and then do that, and then turn it on. Is it going to aim towards our booger here? No, it's not. And why is that? Could you let me get into the microchip here, please? Pretty, pretty, please. You detect an enemy. Oh, we did not type in the tag name. That might be why. That makes sense. So let's go ahead and... Put him back in that group, I guess. There we go. And we'll go ahead and edit. Source, save. And of course, if I can find it, there it is. Enemy. Now that should work. And preview invisibility. previous creation. There we go. One thing has been updated. Let's go ahead and ungroup that, because why not? Play. Let's attack our booger here. There we go. Got him! That's kind of an issue. We can fix that pretty easily, though. 
my camera issue there, I mean. day it. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Pink Lands, I guess. That's what the game is called. Um, yeah, if you have anything you would like to see in the game, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Also, if you want to see a certain tutorial or anything like that, go ahead and leave a comment about that as well. Um, yeah, um, I also have a Patreon, if you want to support me on there. Um, you know, I have a private Discord server that I let all my Patreon members into. So, there's that. Also, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, everyone. Bye.